All right. And if you notice here, the one-on-one -on -one with the CCLCS lecturers and the email address for the department is hmanagement at cclcs.edu.tt. So I wanted to go a little bit into why Cipriani College of Labor and Cooperative Studies. Because you may say, well, why Cipriani? You know, what has them as a special institution? But as I like to say, we are a special institution and we are not afraid to say it and claim it. If you notice here, we are accredited, accredited by the Accreditation Council of Trinidad and Tobago. So in terms of that institutional accreditation, you know that we are meeting the required standards according to that council, which is an excellent thing in terms of tertiary education. We are gate funded for various level of program areas. You know, as we said, today we are speaking about human resource management, but as we continue in terms of the journey, you will hear more. Yesterday, our colleagues, my colleagues, Nigel and Colin, Colin Bartholomew and Nigel Bagratsaran, would have spoken respectively about their programs in terms of cooperative studies and project management. And as I said, you will hear from others. So the gate-funded approach will also be a great tool for you to enhance your development in the tertiary education sphere. The institution is well recognized within the region. You know, we have several memorandums of understandings, memorandums of agreements with different institutions and organizations within Trinidad and Tobago and the Caribbean. So we see our worth and other institutions see our worth. And we love to partner as well. So it makes for a great, effective relationship and work relationship. CCLCS is charged by its vision and mission. And I have that later on in the slide. So I'll expound on that a little more. And of course, we have affordable packages and payment plans. Sometimes due to challenges you may have, some people may not be eligible for gate funding. But we have one of the lowest rates because we continue to think about you all as stakeholders, as you know, people within the sphere who want to get a better education, who want to empower themselves, you know, who want to take a chance on yourself. So in having the affordable packages and payment plans, this will help you in doing that. So now we look at the CCLCS's vision and mission. And if you notice here, the vision indicates the premier Caribbean tertiary institution for accessible world-class education in labor, cooperatives, and related fields, empowering people to make a positive social and economic impact. Because we know right now, there are so many things that are happening so many things that we see in terms of the social context, the economic context, we know that things are happening, not only in Trinidad and Tobago, but across the region, in terms of the declining economy, in terms of the social context as it relates right now, as we say, to COVID-19 and the pandemic. How are we going to deal, you know, the social issues that may arise from that, that have already arisen from that? And how do we deal with those things? So that is why CCLCS's vision is very clear in that regard. If you notice the mission as well, we empower and strengthen the intellectual and practical skills of Caribbean people to increase their earning potential and value to society through the provision of dynamic, relevant, high quality programs and raising consciousness of the labor and cooperative movements. Because we know in terms of, yes, you may want to earn your potential, but people are focused on being something within the society, giving back, giving value. You know, what do you want your legacy to be? So that is how we help you. We empower you and we strengthen you, basically. And we make sure that we raise your consciousness in such a way that you are able to say when you leave the Cipriani College of Labor and Cooperative Studies, that yes, I'm ready 
this is the next step. I'm ready to take on the world and anything that is thrown at me. Now I'm going to go a little bit into why HR, you know, because sometimes you may say, well, I'm not too sure about HR, you know. Mm, oh gosh, HR people. But sometimes you hear that cry. But I always say, you, you take it because no matter what profession you're in, you will have positive reviews and negative reviews. But I want to show you a little bit in terms of the impact. And if you notice, people in this field can help to change lives because we know that sometimes a simple opportunity that you might not have thought about, a simple belief, you know, because sometimes you may believe in employees or other co-workers' talents and they may not believe in it, you know, and say, well, all right, maybe, but when you give them the opportunity and they see how they can grow and how they can move and become a better person, not only personally, but professionally, you impact, you impact them greatly. Mm -hmm. And within this context, of course, you have that area of influence, you know, and it's not to say you get high and mighty with it, because at the end of the day, you are trying to be better and you're trying to make sure that your employee is better, your organization is better, you know, so you do those things to make sure in terms of best person fit, best job alignment, and those kinds of things. And interacting with people will help you even better as you progress in terms of changing lives. You'll have a different workday every day. HR is never a routine job. You know, so sometimes you may have moments where you have to give the executive a presentation. And then within that same day, someone may need a report. And then within an hour as well, someone may ask you to speak with them because they want to share an issue or raise something. Another day you may have, you know, grievance handling matters. Sometimes you may have a compensation, so a job evaluation and compensation you know, package or meeting. And so it's never mundane. Trust me. We help in terms of continuous improvement because remember, you are advocating not only for the employee, but for the organization. So what are the tools or the research that we have to garner in order to show the continuous improvement in order to gain the continuous improvement and what trends are we looking at we know right now of course the COVID-19 and you know even though many of us feel anxious we may be stressed we are not sure about our futures for some for others many of people have said wow this COVID-19 might have been a blessing in disguise because now we have to be improving continuously in terms of what we need to do in terms of our resilience within an organization, within resilience in terms of members and so forth. Dealing with technology, because when we are looking at the analytics and those kinds of things as well, and what's happening, what data are we looking at? How are we creating these things? You know, our platforms looking reasonable enough to get the data that we need to make informed decisions when we go to the table with our you know, peers. And of course, you have to be innovative because sometimes there will be situations that you have to find solutions for. You may not have thought about them, but when they arise, how do I get the best solution for the employee and the organization? So just an overall view, as we say, if you notice the little diagram as it relates to HRM, because we, we know that the employee, very important, without a doubt, in terms of training, in terms of skills, in terms of understanding. And when we have 
that effective management of people within an organization, and we help our business to gain that competitive advantage, we can only go from strength to strength. And that is why you see there, you have the business value because of course, sometimes companies are about the bottom line, but you have to be able to show them, hey, this is why we must be concerned about our employees. This is why we must be able to train our employees in terms of certain areas. This is why we must have strategic objectives because we must know where our departments are going, where our organization is going, you know. And once we are able to do these things, if you notice the star there that says success, and it will be a rewarding experience for us. So just a general concept as to what some of the careers in the HRM field may include. If you notice here, and I would have put a little definition for you all, if you notice the HR manager runs the entire HR department, you have the HR generalist. And if you notice that is an employee within the department who has knowledge of most HR areas. So, you know, they, as Cricket may say right now, as we are in the CPL realm, an all-rounder. There are some who are the HR specialists. And the thing about it is, you know, because as you progress in your field of HR, you may realize that there's a certain area that speaks to you more than any others. So that is why you notice here I might have had some compensation and benefits because you said you're into that or a recruitment and selection or maybe even training and development, organizational development, all those different things. If you notice, the HR officer here assists the HR manager with operational activities. And sometimes you can also be a lecturer. And if you notice there, sharing the knowledge through teaching. So when we look at the HRM department in the Cipriani College of Labor and Cooperative Studies, I'm trying to say we are the most holistic program in the country in terms of HRM, because some institutions may have courses, you know, or parts of HR within courses. But I like to say we have various areas that tie in, you know, to anything that you may want to deal with within HR. So in terms of systems and functions and procedures, in terms of your human behavior within organizations, your strategic and corporate HRM, your strategic human development, human resource development, your compensation management, your performance management. You know, so all those things speak to you and you have enough in terms of that content as well, because we like to make sure as your lecturers, and if you notice there in the second part there, warm understanding lecturers who have experience and have your best interests at heart. So sometimes, you may not think what we may be saying may be the best for you, but because we have had the experience and we have your best interest, you may not always agree with what we may have to say, but we know that we are doing it with the best intentions for you. Um, the good thing about it is many people and many of our lecturers too would have gone through the Cipriani route. You know, Some would have gone through from the 10 Saturdays right up. So we know what it is. And I always say we applaud and salute many of you all who are deciding to do education on a part-time basis, because we know how hard it is in terms of work and trying to maintain and, you know, your work-life balance and all those different things, but you all continue to do it. And we always applaud and salute you. And we always say we will find the best possible ways, you know, within which to help you through your journey, the college. And then we have, of course, vibrant people and vibrant students who are not afraid to get involved. Because as we say, in terms of our practitioner experience, as we, we, we ask you to speak with us, challenge, discuss, those kinds of things. So when you look for different causes and all those different things, I remember one of my earlier classes, one of the personal and professional development for HR practitioners. And when there was... Well, one of the floods last in 2018, they said, Miss, can we do something? And I said, of course, what do you want to do? And they came, they got 
you know, tokens, they got supplies, stationary supplies because they were focused and they said well you know, in terms of since we're an educational institution we want to help those children who may not have had whose books may have been washed away whose items may have been washed away and they were able to donate and ask people for help you know and people brought in items and we were able to give it to a wonderful worthy cause so those are the kinds of things that we look at because I didn't have to spur them, I didn't have to ask. But the fact that they were so willing, and as we go through the course and the journey within the department and different program levels, you see that being increased. So what I just wanted to touch base on as well is the program vision, you notice? To be the HRM program of choice for line managers, working people, and those desirous of having a career in the field of HRM. We want you to think of us as that first choice. I will touch on some of the objectives of the program. You notice. To provide students with the exposure and competencies needing in the field of human resources. Because we have to let you all know what's happening. What are the competencies? Because when you go out there, we don't want you to be drifting in the breeze. We want you to know what you're about. You notice here, to produce students who can think critically, create proactive solutions where necessary, and be able to apply the experience attained to situations within the industry. Because there are all kinds of situations, but based on what you would have learned, how you would have thought in terms of your application, you'd be able to develop a concept that is easy for you to understand and apply. To produce students who recognize and apply the need for integrity and confidentiality within the profession. You know, because unfortunately now, there are some HR professionals that we know, unfortunately, gather slack, you know, and flack, I should say, because they're not confidential. They are not seeming to have integrity. And the unfortunate thing is, it sometimes impacts other HR personnel, other HR practitioners, because people sometimes may be a little skewed and so. But when we are able to showcase to our students, this is what you need, you know, because if you are able, you, some people may not know better, but you know better because we have taught you better. And that way, you would move forward within the profession. To equip students with tools needed to create and sustain a productive and motivated workforce and to assess the factors that contribute to a favorable, and a favorable environment. Because we know right now, as I said, going back to COVID-19, people are not as engaged. People are stressed. People are anxious. You know, so how do we now take those factors into account? How do we now see what can be best for our employees and our members? Because we have to make sure that they feel all right, that they are ready to, to perform, you know, and those are the kinds of things that we look at in terms of giving them the tools. And finally, to create individuals in the HR profession that are strengthened by complementing courses in labor and cooperative studies because we like to focus on those areas that have labor areas so we have things such as the grievance and arbitration we look at the cooperative studies in terms of the entrepreneurship so you you realize that you are bolstered because we are all around you have courses in osh as well project management. So all those things. And of course, you also have electives that will help you to boost those competencies and enhance those complementing courses in the labor and cooperative studies. Our department has classes at North, which is the main campus at Valsain, South at MIC, and Tobago venues. And at this point as well, we have day and evening classes. 
course for this period, the semester one, 2020, 2021, we are fully online. In addition, we have workshops to enhance your understanding of HR topics because in terms of the contemporary areas, in terms of the contemporary areas and current trends and issues, we're working on that. In addition, we have unique, exciting and dynamic approaches to teaching and learning because we have to keep you engaged. So just showcasing here in terms of the program matrix, we have the 10 Saturdays introductory courses in supervisory management and HRM. And then we progress, as you see, different levels, the certificate, the diploma, the Associate of Arts, the Bachelor of Arts, and the HRM specialized training. So just to give you a snapshot, if you notice here, the certificate, 18 credits, one academic year over the course of two semesters. So it's a case of people who are not too sure or they may not have had the requisite qualifications to enter the field at that point in time. So you start at the certificate in terms of that level and you see how you feel and you go forth from there. The diploma is also 18 credits and it's also two academic semesters, but you must note though, that is for people who are geared more towards the industry experience. So more for practitioners and to get a better sense as to what is happening. When we look at the associate and Bachelor of Arts in HRM, the Associate of Arts degree, 64 credits. And if you notice there, two years full-time or three years part-time basis. And the bachelor's degree is 117 credits, which three and a half years full-time or four and a half years part-time. In terms of our HRM specialized training, this would have actually recently concluded as in today. <laughs> and it was a wonderful experience in terms of the mental health and the workplace, understanding and, and gaining because we have so many issues as it pertains to mental health and the workplace, because so many people now are taking additional days or taking days because of the workplace stresses, or some people are afraid to even share with their colleagues or the HR to say, well, hey, I think I may be having a problem. And this was very enlightening. So, and then this is a segue as to what the 10 Saturdays introductory programs all have to offer. To go there. So what's new in HRM? As we say, we have the accelerated online certificate where we are allowing you for one semester. This semester, semester 1, 20, 20, 20 21, in terms of 12 credits. So three contact, three courses and three workshops. And from these, you'll be able to earn transferable, the relevant transferable credits to any level of the programs that you may want to further your experience in. If you notice as well, you get a completion letter and the certificate and the classes commence September 21st, 2020. I will send out more information about that. So, Stay tuned for that. And then we also have the CCLCS open courses. Pursue a course in the HRM program also for this semester. And you earn the transferable credits and you get your completion letter. This one, however, starts a little earlier, September 7, 2020. So just as, you know, I want you to remember, HRM is a field of study that continuously empowers. And it's not just empowering yourself, but empowering others, empowering the organization. And wouldn't you want to be part of something, if you notice here, that gives you the opportunity to develop and empower people to work better for an organization? You know, and that, that is the important thing there. We want to ensure that we are interested, we are empowering people, and we are focused in getting the best things from everyone. All right. Now, what I would also like to say 
in terms of enrolling today. Because we know that, yes, there's uncertainty. We know that things are happening. We're not sure what the future may hold. But sometimes, out of hardship, your opportunity arises. So who else is better to invest in yourself than you? So I think it's best that you think about it. Even though it may be a certificate, even though it may be the introductory, you know, but improve yourself. Get yourself prepared because you don't know what the next step would be. And this may provide you an opportunity to do that. Yes. And in fact, you notice here where you enroll the admissions department and the stakeholder relations department, and those email addresses are there. And what I would like to also say as a little initiative, people who would vol well, register and apply for the program and the HRM program, of course, at the Cipriani College of Labor and Cooperative Studies, would have the opportunity to receive one of three spots in certain specialized training offerings for the months of either September or October. So take advantage, people. You know, I am giving you an opportunity here as well. So take advantage. Let's go. Request your applications, apply. And I look forward to seeing and interacting with you all even more. I want to thank you, and at this point, I am willing to take any questions you may have. If you'll just excuse me while I stop presenting. As I said, don't be afraid as well to like our CCLCS social media platforms in terms of our Facebook, our Instagram, our Twitter. You know, look at the website, see what you have there in terms of its offerings and all that as well. Thoughts, comments, questions. All right, so, so I'm looking at some of the questions here as you all are coming fast and furious. Can I move from the certificate level HRM to the bachelor level? Yes, you can, you know, provided that your GPA, but so you have to work hard on your GPA, you know, so we're making sure that if you have a 2.5 average and above, you'd be able to transition comfortably there because we want to make sure that you're able to cope from that level to the higher level of the program. But yes, you would be able to do so. All right. And how long is the program in terms of the associate level? Two years full-time, three years part-time. And in terms of the bachelor's level, three and a half years full-time, four and a half years part-time. And the certificate and the diploma are one, each one academic year. Does the HRM program give an understanding of other business for operations, for finance and management? Yes, it does. So we look in terms of introduction to accounts, in terms of that financial management, principles of business management, those kinds of things. And then as well, you can also choose in terms of an area within your electives that you may want to further enhance. So that is there. I'm looking at your questions. I'm looking at your questions as they're coming along. I am waiting on my CSEC results. I'm waiting on my CSEC results. And can I enroll in the certificate level 
commencing in September. Indeed, you can. Indeed, you can. You know, so don't be afraid to apply because we'll be able to review. But we know definitely that is not a problem for you to participate at the certificate level come September. The difference between the certificates and the diploma in terms of course context, when we look at it, because the certificate is, I like, as I like to say, the early level of the program, the first level of the program, as the case may be, you will look at things such as the fundamentals of HRM. So you're getting a grasp and an understanding of it. You'll be able to understand more in terms of the organizational behavior and development context. You'll be able to understand the and apply some of the theories and concepts and practices within the HRM realm, as opposed to the diploma, because as I said before as well, it's more to those who are practitioners. So they want to get a better understanding of those systems and processes and procedures. You know, they looking at collective bargaining and compensation management, looking at legal and ethical issues within the HRM sphere. Yes. All right, as I, as I go through. Yes, I am looking, I am looking. Will the classes be presented at a fixed time or can they be accessed 24 seven? So yes, in terms of our classes, they would be at a fixed time at every, so let's say for example, you have a particular course, it would be meeting every week at that particular time. However, sometimes circumstances may arise and as a class, you all may decide to have a different session once there are no other clashes based on the courses that you all are enrolled for. Yes? When you are coming. How long are the program semesters? So we look at 45 contact hours. So generally it will be 15 weeks. However, we know that due to things happening in terms of this COVID-19 scenario. We are trying to find ways within which to help all of us better. So for this semester, we would be in 12 weeks, but we will still be maintaining those 45 contact hours. So generally those program semesters, all right. I completed the associate in 2018. And I would like to move on to the bachelor's. Not a problem. So you apply as well. Admissions at cclcs.edu.tt. You can send them an email indicating that you are a former student and you would like to you know, move to the next level of the program. I'm going through, I'm going through, I'm going through. If I am. I only have two passes. Can I still get into a class at CCLCS? Yes, you can. You know, we have the open courses realm, as we were saying there as well. And if it is you feel that you may not necessarily want to do the open class, you can start with the 10 Saturday, the introductory program as well. All right, yes. And what would have happened for some of you all who would have been there from 2018 and so, we would have had our revised curriculum. And I would be willing to speak with any one of you all as to the changes and how it would impact you. All right. I'm looking, you all are coming fast and furious. So can electives that were done in an AA degree be brought forward to the BA degree? Yes, they can. So you can contemplate that. But again, I would be willing to speak with you further 
and to chart your way forward. That's not a problem at all. All right, I think I have most of them there. Any other thoughts? Any other questions? All right, they come in again. All right. So how do I enroll in the single courses in the HR program? And how can I see the dates and times those courses are offered? So you will be seeing that very soon, Justin. So you don't have to worry about that. So look it up up on the website in terms of our social media platforms as well. You know, you can feel free to also email admissions at cclcs.edu.tt and the stakeholder relations department at prmarketing at cclcs.edu.tt and they'll be able to provide you with further information. All right. Any other thoughts, comments? Feeling? All right. So in terms of registration for your open courses as well, it starts on Monday. So September 1st. So feel free to take part of that. But as I said, look forward, look on to your social media pages and send those emails out as well and you will get more information. Can you transfer from one subject to another? Can you give me a little more clarification? Now, what I will say is this, because I'm not sure if it's the right context, but I will give a shot and then you can provide further clarification. Sometimes you may start in a program and you realize, you know, it may not be for you. And nothing is wrong with that because you're developing yourself and you're developing your path and you're trying to figure out what's the best possible thing for you. So what I would say is that, Yes, because sometimes I've had experiences where someone may have started within the program and they said, look, Miss, I, this is not for me. I thought it was, but it's not for me. And then vice versa. I've had people who would have come from other programs and they said, Miss, I have such an appreciation now, you know, and I realized that this is really my chosen path. So I hope that answers your question, that context. Right. Okay. So at this time, I want to thank you all for being an engaging audience, you know, for sharing your thoughts, comments, well wishes, you know, suggestions. And it was indeed a pleasure to be speaking with you. So, of course, I would encourage you to stay tuned because. Ms. Adriana Archer for the Security Administration Management and Emergency Management Program will be on at six o'clock. So again, I am Melissa Bridgewater. I am the head of department for human resource management at the college. And on behalf of the CCLCS family, director and so forth, I want to wish you a continued and fabulous day and continue to be safe Stay home if you can and keep your thoughts and your focus as best as you can and take it a minute at a time. All right. So you all have a great one. And of course, feel free to shoot me an email, as I said, as well at agemanagement at cclcs.edu.tt. All right. So you all take care. Have a great one.